So let's take a look now at how to play our game, which doesn't really have a lot going on. It's got some rubble kicking around in the center of, of a map. That's all it's got going on. But what we're going to look at how to play our level once we actually have a level to play, and that is this really nice looking green play button right here. So tempting to press. Go ahead and press it. Also keep in mind where our player start location is. If you don't have a player start location, you will just automatically jump into where your camera viewport is. But if you have a player start location like I do over here, I will start the game right there. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And at the moment, all we've got is sort of our default camera moving around within our level. Not too much to see here, but uh, it is good to be aware that this is how we actually do play our level and test it out. Now, when you're playing a level, if you want to go full screen, you can go ahead and hit F11, hit F11 again to get out of full screen mode. And the other option that we really have available to us is to play a simulated version of our level. Now, this won't bump our player into the game, but it will simulate our world environment, our lighting, our physics, and other things like that. So let's do something kind of fun here, and let's add a little bit of physics to our game so that we can actually see what uh, happens when we click play and, and, well, something happens more than just like some boxes sit there. Something a little more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and select this cube, and then looking under the details pane here, I'm going to go to the physics option, and I'm going to option on to simulate physics. I'm also going to move this up a little ways because it'll be a little more fun. So if I go ahead and I now click on the simulate option and then I click play, what you'll see is our object actually falls and bounces off the ground. Isn't that fun? Whilst we are simulating, one of the cool things that we can actually do is manipulate an object around whilst physics simulation is enabled. So you can see I kind of throw that a little bit and it has movement to it. If I throw it up, it kind of bounces up and bounces down. If I pick it up all the way, it falls to the ground because sim uh, physics is being simulated. So that's pretty fun and pretty cool. The one thing to note though, however, if you are simulating, when you stop playing your level, the object that you moved around in simulation mode will go right back to its starting point. So it doesn't actually stay where you put it while you're simulating. It's really just to test out physics and uh, how your level plays, how the lighting works, how everything well simulates, basically. That's, that's why I suppose, why it's called simulate. Um, so anyway, that's the play button, and those are the play states. We can also, of course, use our selected viewport and press play, and you can see that the physics object does indeed fall. We can't do much with it at the moment because we are a non-entity. We're just like a camera moving around. But in the future, we will be able to push or pull or move or apply force to our simulated physics objects in a variety of different ways, but we'll get more into that as we continue. Anyway, this is uh, basically the play button in a nutshell. The last play option that I want to talk about in this lesson is the new editor window option. This is kind of handy because you can open up your game in a window all of its own outside of your viewport and resize that. And actually, if you close it and play it again, it will remember how big it was. So it's a pretty handy option for simulating in full screen. You can also use this new editor window option and simulate multiple players within your game. So this is handy in case you're testing multiplayer replication stuff. You could set the number of players to three. Each one will pop up in its own window, and then you can test out your multiplayer features. That is definitely a lesson for the future, though. But I think that basically summarizes the play buttons and the various ways you can test out your level. Let's continue on to the next lesson. This lesson is from my Unreal Engine Beginners course. You can get access to the entire course on my Patreon page. All of my Patreons get full access to all of my courses, and I will be adding more courses and tutorials over time. Links in the description. Thank you for all the support.